What's up guys, this is Steven and today I'm going to be bringing you a very cool Twixter tutorial in Adobe After Effects. You're going to be making something that looks a little bit like this. Now it actually wasn't stopping, it was extremely slow motion. So we're going to take a look at that today. So we're going to open up After Effects, new composition, and uh, usually what works best for Twixter is about 60 frames, but 30 frames per, uh, per second works as well, so we're going to do that 29.97 with 1280 by 720. Alright, that's fine. And it doesn't matter, you can change how long it is after. So we're going to drag in our raw video, which is going to be ink drops, which I'll show you. We're just going to put it right there. It's going to put it in, and you can just drag that right over onto the video till it snaps. Now this video is a little bit too long, so I shortened it up, or I'm going to shorten it up until where I want it. So I'm going to hit that, drag it over here, keep on going because I want to get the end of the video because this is really long. Just take this. I should have done this earlier, but that's fine. Alright, that's a little too short, but whatever. Uh, let's just make it about there. Alright. So now we have it so that is it, the ink drop is going to hit the water, and then it's going to form out like that. It's going to keep on going, and we're going to slow it in between. Alright, so what you want to do first is turn on this little button right here. This is enables frame blending, which is very important. So you always want to have that on. Next, we're going to go up to Layer. We're going to go to frame blending and turn pixel motion on. This is very important as well. And if we also want to extend the clip, because when we put a slow mo on it, it'll extend it, but it won't like extend this, we are just going to turn on time, enable time remapping. This will just let us stretch it out a little bit further so it'll keep on going. Alright, so you're going to have Twixter 4.5. This is the one I'm using. You're just going to go into effects and presets and type in Twixter once you have it. You can acquire this many different ways. You know, I'm not saying anything by that, but, you know, whatever. And you're going to take that and just drag it on. Now, whatever right here, input frame, you always want to make sure it matches whatever you're going to be slow motioning. So this right here it says it's 29.97 so we are good to go that is 29.97 alright so once you have that set in there you're gonna wanna go into effects right here open up Twixter go to output control alright this is where the magic happens this is the speed right here where you're gonna start doing things so we're gonna make it go like this wait for it it's a little slow Alright, so let's say we want to freeze frame about right there and make it really slow-mo right there. So we're going to put a keyframe at 100 speed right there. We're going to move forward a little bit, you know. And then we're going to put the speed down to, I don't know, I'm going to put mine at 4. But 3, 4, and 5 work really well. Anything below that is just, it's not really that good. So as we can see, as soon as we added that, it's going to slow it down very much and it's just going to creep along like that and whenever we want to stop it we're just gonna hit the keyframe again like that move forward a little bit and then we're going to put it back up to a hundred now I've done this before for many Call of Duty videos like reloads and make like super slow reloads and a quick tip is try to not get a lot of motion in the image like if your guys hands are like moving really fast that's not gonna look good Twixer because it's gonna have like a lot of motion blur and it's just not gonna look good you're gonna try and select key points and where what the frick okay <sighs> it's just gonna go <clears throat> where was I I'm sorry but you're gonna want to try and pick points where there's not that much motion in the picture so that it won't blur it up too much alright so once you have that you can see that the video has been slowed 
in between and it speeds back back up to normal speed again now if you want to render this I'm sorry to say but the sound really doesn't if there is any sound on it it's not gonna sound good at all so we're gonna go to composition add to render queue hit lossless we're gonna change this to a quicktime movie and we're going to not check audio output because the audio does get messed up when it's stretched out like that we're just gonna hit OK now these files the dot movies are the best quality but they are very very big so if you have like a compressor or anything like that to make it a lot smaller like I r always run mine through Sony Vegas afterwards just to make it a lot smaller because this video size the one that we watched previously was one gigabyte and the rendered thing was 6.1 megabytes and that is a h considerable size change so just to let you know so once you have it save wherever you want blah 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 save it I don't know as ink spots slow mo 2 save that and then you're just gonna hit render over here and it'll go and render all the way like that alright guys thanks for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more Photoshop and Cinema 4D tutorials. I'll also try and be posting more of this, more tutorials and After Effects later. Thanks for watching.